Right, sat here having a quick lunch break, so I thought I'd put together a winter special of tips. Some from previous videos, some that have just popped into my head. So, just bullet points. Let's see how we go. Bin bag. Always need bin bags in the winter. Everywhere you go, the bloody floor's wet. If you kneel down or put your bag down, especially if you get your camera out your bag, you're committed. So you put your bag on the floor and it's gonna get wet. So bin bag, always have a, always have a bin bag. Well, well, Andy. Soap bags. Previous video, I said the little bags you get when your missus orders shoes or you get some, in, some new computer item. You've always got those little um, soap bags in the bottom. Keep them in your camera bag because they're well useful. Keep all the moisture out your bag because you don't want moisture in your bag. Certain places you want moisture, in your bag ain't one of them. Not your camera bag, anyway. If you've been out on a shoot and it's really cold, obviously all your camera bag and your camera gear is going to get cold. When you drive home and go indoors, don't take your camera out straight away. Otherwise, you're going to get condensation inside your camera because your camera's cold and it's nice and warm inside. Don't want condensation in your camera. Ooh, take advantage of late sunrise. Yeah, good thing about winter is sunrise is later. So you can get to stay in bed a little bit longer with the missus. Or the hubby, whoever's depending on who's watching this. Take advantage of early sunsets. Take advantage of them because you can go out, get some cool early sunsets because it's winter now and you're looking at sunset, I don't know, give or take five o'clock, something like that, half past four, five o'clock. So you can go out and have a good old photo shoot of getting some sunsets. You can still get home in time for some tea and some red wine and you can start your night. Brilliant. Winter, winter skies sometimes, except for today. It's nice, it's nice and cloudy. A bit of blue in the sky, which is perfect. Um, but obviously in the winter, you're gonna get your, just your dull, bland, white skies. If they're just completely white, think maybe abstract, think black and white, or just don't include the sky at all. Getting close, or get in a woodland, just don't, don't, don't put the sky in the shot. If it ain't needed, because it's just white, get rid of it, don't need it. And obviously with winter coming, low light, not as good light in the day. Take advantage of that. If you haven't got any neutral density filters and you're out and the light is just dim, get yourself in a woodland where it's even darker and then you'll be able to get some longer exposures because it will be darker in the woodland, especially if you find a soft wood woodland. Obviously softwoods, spruces, firs have still got their green on the trees like they do all year round. So it'd be nice and dark in the woodland. Get some longer exposures and you won't need neutral density filters so take advantage of bad light any light's good light it's just using it where you want it there's never no not one light is better than another light it's just using it for the shot that you're taking Ooh, makes perfect sense loads of cloths always have loads of cloths in your bag because i don't know what it is i must have bought about three million cloths in my lifetime but i can never find a cloth always have loads of um lint free what are they called um you know the camera cloths there's loads out there um take a flask yeah. it does help if you're out and you're flipping freezing nice warm drink can just make it that little bit more enjoyable so take a flask put your batteries in your pockets don't leave them in your bag if you put them in your pockets they're close to your body so it keeps them warm nice and snug and they won't go flat apparently dress appropriately don't go out and flip flops if it's snowing or raining or you're on the rocks let people know where you are don't wear too much clothing wear layers so if you get hot you know what it's like you go Christmas shopping with the missus and you, you stay quite, if you put a big jacket on, it's quite nice because you're walking around. But as soon as you put a camera bag on your back, you sweat your tits off. They make you so hot. So just wear a few layers and chuck an extra extra top in your, in your, in your bag. May sound stupid, sunglasses if it's snowing. Sunglasses are always good because it's really bright. Uh, let people know where you're going, just in case. Always good to know, bit of safety there. Get some gloves. I hate wearing gloves, but my hands always get flipping freezing when I'm out. So get some gloves, just get some thin ones. You Just get some thin gloves, always help. I've always got a neck scarf on and everyone says to me, why do you always wear a neck scarf? Because I don't like wearing loads of clothing, but that keeps me warm and I'm, I'm a windows wearer. I've always got glasses on most of the time. So that neck scarf is always to clean, clean with glasses, raindrops on it, or I've got, I've got my camera with me quite a lot. So it's like a second cloth. That's why I've, I always wear a neck scarf. My old man reckons I look like I should be jumping on the back of a Land Rover because I look like something out of a SAS film. Um, if it's windy outside, open those legs. That come, that come about in a, a previous video I did. Um, I forget the name of the fella that said about that. Yeah, but if it's windy, open the legs of a tripod. Makes it a bit more stable on the floor. Put some tape on your tripod. Where's my tripod? I'm lucky enough, my tripod has got 
See, that leg's got nothing on it, but these legs have got rubber on, and it makes so much difference. When you're out and it's freezing, that, that I can feel, that's bloody freezing. It's been sat in my van all day. But that's, that's not bad. That's quite, quite nice to hold. So, if you haven't got rubber bits on your tripod, put some tape on it. I wouldn't tape any cloth on it, because if it rains, the cloth's gonna get wet, and then your hands are gonna get cold. Um, lube it up. <laughs> the tripod, that is. Um, give it a wash. Obviously, when you get back, especially if you've been near salt water, give it a wash, leave it open. WD-40 on a cloth, just rubber legs. Keep it lubed up so it opens and closes nice and easy, because you want the legs to open and close nice and easy on your tripod, don't you? Winter times, head for the coast. Huge rushing waves, get some brilliant shots with the camera. Obviously, don't stand too close to the edge because you'll get knocked in by a wave and look like a right tit. And where I live near the coast in the winter, the flipping waves we get over the breakwater are amazing. So definitely a good place to go to get some shots. If you're lucky enough to get some snow, I'm going to do another video on that's just snow tips, I think, later on. But if you're lucky enough to get some snow, don't forget about the scene you're taking. Don't waltz through the middle of a field, putting footprints everywhere, turn around to take a shot and think, oh, look, looks like a flipping rat's just run across the field and wrecked, wrecked it. Walk around the edge of the field. Just try and think, pre-visualise your shot if you can. Because obviously, uh, sometimes a shot across a field looks better when the snow hasn't been broken at all and it's just nice and smooth, looks lush. But you can also use your footprints in the snow as a leading line in a picture. And if you are shooting in snow, and you're not shooting in manual mode if you're shooting in AV or shutter priority. Because you're shooting in snow, the camera's gonna think the scene is a lot brighter, which it is because of the snow, obviously, but the camera, the camera is gonna underexpose the scene because it sees so much white in the picture, it, it will underexpose it slightly. But if you shoot in manual, you don't have that problem anyway. Not many snowy ones there, because I couldn't think of many, because it hasn't snowed in flipping ages. And if we do get some snow, I'm gonna do some more videos on that. That was just some tips, some from previous videos. Cool, have a good winter, stay safe, get out with a camera. Yet again, I look like I live in my van, but I do during the week because I'm working, but this is my lunch break, so I thought I'd quickly put that video together. Cool, see you soon, cheers.